Hey everybody, um, I got a, a venerable, well venerable, it was uh, first published I think in uh, 2012, a uh, book by Henry Hyde, which uh, is the Wargaming Compendium. Uh, came in the mail last week and we haven't done a Wargame Wednesday in a while, so that's what we're going to do today on Greyhawk Rognard. So this book, The Wargaming Compendium uh, by Henry Hyde, like I said, it's about 10 years old at this point. Um, it's over 500 pages. It's, it's massive. And the reason I got this is because the same author is coming out with a new book next month on wargaming campaigns, and I wanted to have the set. Uh, so my plan for today is I'm going to go through the book chapter by chapter and uh, give you uh, sort of a, an overview of what the uh, book has and why I think it's a good thing for you to have on your shelf. It's um, it basically uh, a guide for every aspect of, of miniature wargaming out there. Um, it's it's a really it, it tries to be encyclopedic and it really succeeds in a lot of ways. Um, you'll find a link to the book below, by the way. Uh, it's an affiliate link, so it'll help me uh, help keep me in in lead. Um, or pewter nowadays. Uh, one of the uh, things I do like about it, I don't know if you can pick that up on ye camera but each chapter is color coded and, and so you can you can actually flip to the uh, to the channel uh, to the chapter that you want uh, right there um, they have uh, he has a number of uh, chapters I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go through them and I've I, I haven't read the whole book yet um, but I have uh, given it a thorough flip through so that's what I'm basing this on uh, chapter one basic concepts of, of role-playing and of uh, wargaming and he goes through everything from scale to uh, era to um, uh, different materials and things like that it's just um, all kinds of, of, of really great stuff. I, I don't think about the dice and all that stuff. Um, chapter two is the history of wargaming, and it covers. It goes from uh, Kriegspiel uh, in the Franco-Prussian War uh, through um, H.G. Wells and 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 uh, later later stuff. There's lots of quotes from famous wargamers um, and wargame authors and so forth, um, and it goes through. Pretty much today, I mean, it you know goes through Warhammer and and all the the, the things that are present uh, present today. Different types of uh, of warfare, different uh, genres. Uh, you know, ACW, World War One, colonial stuff, all that. You know, that kind of stuff. It even goes into fantasy and sci-fi wargaming. So it's not just a historical. Um, uh, uh, you know, it's not just historically based. It, it's truly uh, comprehensive in terms of all the stuff that it goes through. Um, chapter four is something to fight for. Uh, this is talking about terrain and scenery. There's a whole um, chapter on not only how you use terrain and scenery, or where to buy it, uh, but also how to build it yourself, um, how to make battlefields out of felt and different materials. And I mean, it's all all kinds of great stuff. Uh, that you know, I've been doing this since before I was playing D and D, uh, and this is uh, you know this is I, I'm finding useful stuff in here just flipping through it, um, uh, different kinds of uh, buildings and, and all sorts of all sorts of good stuff like that. Uh, there, I did uh, notice there are some mentions of 3D printing as well, although that's not obviously the focus of the book. It is that comprehensive that it does include it. Um, Next up, we have uh, Assembling Your Forces, which is all about troops uh, and the miniatures themselves. Uh, it, it goes from everything from the scale of, that, of the army that you want to use, uh, you know, from 3 millimeter all the way through, I guess, 40. Um, it, it talks about the miniature creation process, um, you know, uh, modeling them in green stuff, and it shows the molding process and 3D, uh, 3D stuff. Um, uh, yeah, and, uh, and it talks about the painting and all the different uh, way, you know, all the different techniques and ways to do that and stuff like that. It's just really, um, really great for a um, for a beginner who really doesn't know much about it. And then here's one of the things that this book is is it's really cool that it does. Uh, it actually will give you um, entire games. Uh, this <laughs> chapter six. Um, 
it has a, a war game built into it. Uh, just two miniatures, the duel. It is a, um, a a gladiatorial combat game that's just in the book. Uh, complete rules. It even gives you the cards, and and you can just print out a couple of figures. It gives you the map. Um, it gives another complete game for Wild West uh, shootout kind of games, um, it, which is also really cool. Uh, uh, just as an aside, you can see in here, uh, and, and I'm sure you've been able to see this as I've been going through this, uh, this book is just chock-a-block with uh, wonderful uh, illustrations and photographs and so forth. Here's yet another uh, set of rules. This is a, a, a set of uh, campaign rules uh, about you know for for, uh, for if you want to set up a, an entire campaign that spans like a whole map and such he gives you entire rules to do that with movement points for boats and and different types of units and all sorts of things um, there is then another chapter on um, yeah, me. Uh, shot, steel, and stone, horse and musket era rules for European warfare, 1685 to 1845. So yet another full set of rules is in here with these great illustrations of uh, of the period um, uh, 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 uniforms and so forth. Uh, but it also talks about organization and tactics. It's going into uh, different battles. Um, it's you know how you should base your troops for this particular game. I mean it's it's incredible. Just a different unit types, skirmishers and cavalry and and all sorts of things. It's 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 incredible that they've managed to that he's managed to put all this stuff into one book. Um, uh, you know, hand to hand combat. Uh, then there's another one uh, where you learn by playing. It actually gives a, a kind of a scenario and it just takes you step by step through how uh, a war game would play through it. So uh, it's very definitely, uh, you know, a terrific resource for somebody who doesn't know a lot about um, about miniature wargaming. Uh, the next chapter, other aspects of wargaming, uh, it's talking here about uh, naval war games, aerial war games. Yeah, role-playing games, uh, pulp games, um, and solo wargaming, which is you know just a lot of us who uh, who still like minis are, uh, are 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 condemned to be uh, to play solo games uh, and also multiplayer games. Um, and then there's another uh, chapter on advice for the digital age, um, which tells you how to do photography. Um, how to compose photos of your figures and stuff. Um, uh, uh, the in how to use the internet. And then finally it wraps up with a whole section on resources, which not only has like websites and books and, and that stuff, but a whole listing of uh, movies and uh, manufacturers, museums uh, of, you of interest, uh, manufacturers of terrain and figures and publishers of rules and such. Um, with complete contact information conventions. Uh, it gives a list of, of, of all those. I mean, this thing really is a comprehensive guide. Um, you know, for if you're at all interested, if you're an old hand like me at, at Miniature Wargaming, I'm still finding stuff that's useful in here. Um, and, and if you're new to it or you would like to become, uh, you know, a, a miniature war gamer, it's something you want to dip your toe into, you will not go wrong buying this book. I mean, you get multiple full rule set games in here, um, tons of practical advice, you know, how to buy your figures, what scale you should use, how to paint, um, where to go, you know, it's all that, all that is in here. Which era would you want to choose to play? You know, all, all the ups and you know, the pluses and minuses. Honestly, I cannot, cannot recommend this highly enough, uh, Henry Hyde. He's coming out with another uh, equally uh, massive tome next month, which I'll probably do uh, a similar walkthrough on, on um, miniature war game campaigns. So uh, look for that. So I, I got another uh, war game Wednesday uh, lined up. But, uh, but please, uh, check this out if you're at all interested. Again, link will be below. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm glad to be back to a War Game Wednesday, and uh, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching today's video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Below you'll find links to my Patreon, which helps make these videos possible. You'll also find the web store where you can buy my books, and my blog where you'll find all sorts of free downloads and other articles. Thanks, and have a great day.